Hello everyone. This is going to be a demo about how to remap a QWERTY keyboard to the FrogPad one-handed keyboard layout on a Mac. So for this you will need a key remapping utility called Carabiner and an XML file that defines the remaps that I, both of which I'll provide links to in the video description. Uh, I already have Carabiner installed here. Uh, to install it's real easy. You just click on a, a package in this uh, DMG file. So I already have it installed so when you install it you have to be sure and allow this app to control your keyboard right here so you have to make sure this box is checked then after you do that you'll get a little icon up here that is where all your carabiner key remapping preferences are so i'll just go ahead and click preferences there so we want to define our own custom uh, remaps so we will click on the last tab i think it defaults to this one but we will click on the last one miscellaneous and uninstall and open our custom private.xml file so we see that there which is called private.xml then the file that i'll provide is also called private.xml so what you want to do is drag this in here and you want to replace so now we have all of our new remappings right here um to set it if you're curious about it just go ahead and open that in text editor or whatever editor you prefer prefer and you can actually just go ahead and define your own if you choose to um this is for the right handed by the way this demo right here so i'll get out of that and then go back to my carabiner preferences so now that I have my new private.xml file in there, I'm not finished yet. I'm going to have to go over to change key and then reload my XML. And then here it is right here, the frog pad key remapping right there. So I'll go ahead and enable that, check it right there. And then I think I'm good to go. So I'll just open a new one and then the way I remapped this, this is for the right hand, is I made the J key uh, remap to the H key on the frog pad right handed. So if you're familiar with that right handed version, this should come very easily to you. As you can see, H, 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 and then you hit the space bar and the H at the same time, you get the L. So, so you, you can actually get to type in pretty fast on a one-handed keyboard. So this is probably a good way to, uh, uh, keep the um, layout alive uh, while we all wait for the hardware keyboard and uh, it's actually preferable for me to just go ahead and remap my uh, laptop keyboard because you know as I'm laying on the couch or you know just resting in the evenings if I want to just quick search something it's uh, kind of a hassle to dig out that uh, hardware frog pad but I can just use my own uh, QWERTY keyboard to do the same thing and I honestly can type almost as fast as I can on the uh, hardware one just right here on my QWERTY uh, Mac keyboard. So uh, any questions, comments, anything like that just go ahead and post in the YouTube comments. Uh, also please like this video because I think the more likes we can get the more exposure we also get. So um that's that and then I think I forgot to mention but you know if you want to just turn it off just go ahead and uncheck that and you get back to the QWERTY layout and to do that I'll just demonstrate 
pressing the J right here, it rematched to the H on the frog pad, but now since it's off, it's just the J. So uh, that's it, and goodbye.